नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस रैपर बेस्ड फीचर सिलेक्शन मेथड्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी आर डिस्कस्ड फिल्टर बेस्ड मेथड्स दे यूज स्कोरिंग फंक्शन इन ऑर्डर टू स्कोर डिफरेंट फीचर्स इन द रैपर बेस्ड मेथड इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग अ स्कोरिंग फंक्शन वी यूज एन एस्टिमेटर क्लास टू डिसाइड द इम्पॉर्टेंस of features let's look at wrapper based methods one by one the first wrapper based method is recursive feature elimination or rfe rfe uses an estimator to recursively remove features it initially fits an estimator on all features then it obtains feature importance from the estimator and removes the least important feature it repeats the process by removing features one by one until desired number of features are obtained here we have to specify the desired number of features if we do not want to do that we can use another method called refcv which is recursive feature elimination with with cross validation so what rfe cv does is it performs rfe or recursive feature elimination in a cross validation loop to find out the optimal number of features thus we are freed from specifying the desired number of features as in rfe select from model first trains an estimator or on all features then it selects a desired number of features based on feature importance the maximum number of features that we want to select is specified through parameter max underscore features the feature importance is obtained via coif underscore and feature underscore importance underscore member variables of the estimator class we can also use importance underscore getter callable from the estimator class the feature importance threshold can be specified either numerically or through string argument based on building built in heuristics such as mean median and float multiples of these heuristics like 0.1 into mean so here as as like other wrapper based method we first train an estimator on all features and then we select the desired number of features based on the feature importance threshold we also specify maximum features that we need in the uh, in the in the parameter of the select from model feature selector let's look at a concrete example of select from model so here we use linear support vector classifier to get coefficients of features from select from model transformer here we first define an estimator which is linear svc and in select from model we use this particular trans uh, we we use this particular estimator clf and then we apply the transform method on the original feature set to obtain a new feature set based on the feature selected from select from model feature selector so this particular code ends up selecting features with non zero weights or coefficients so here you should also notice that we have used penalty l1 so this is an uh, l1 regularized svc l1 regularized linear support vector classifier and hence we select features with non zero weights or coefficients and we will study this regularization in the subsequent weeks and you will see that the l1 l1 regularizer essentially gets us non zero weights only to features that are that are useful all other weights get feature, 
all other weights uh, are zero are are taken to zero by the L1 regularizer. Let's study sequential feature selection as the next wrapper-based feature selection method. It performs feature selection by selecting or deselecting one feature at a time in a greedy manner. There are two approaches. One is forward selection and second is backward selection. Forward selection starts with zero feature and then go on adding a feature one by one until the desired number of features are, are obtained. Whereas in backward selection, we start with all feature and then go on deselecting or reducing features one by one until the desired number of features are obtained. Let's look at how forward and backward selection works. In forward selection, we start with zero feature and then find one feature that obtains the best cross-validation score for an estimator when we train that estimator on that feature. And then we add that one feature to the set. So now after the first iteration, we have one feature. We repeat this process by adding a new feature in every iteration. So in the second iteration, what will happen is we'll add, we already have one feature, we'll add another feature and we again train estimator with those two features. And then we select the, the new feature which obtains the best cross validation performance when selected along with the earlier selected feature. So then we now have two features. In the, in the third iteration, we'll try to add third feature that obtains again the best cross validation score for an estimator when trained with the three features. And this is how we repeat the process until we get the desired number of features. Whereas in backward selection, what we do is we start with all features and then we remove the least important features one by one. Here also what we do is we start with all features, we train an estimator, we get the feature important score and then we remove, remove the least important feature in let's say in the first step. So then we have M minus one features. In the second step, again, we will repeat the process. We'll train the estimator. We will get the feature importance and then we'll remove the least important feature. Then we have M minus two features after the second iteration. We keep repeating this process until we find the desired number of features. We stop both of these methods when we reach the desired number of features. So now forward, and backward are the direction and these directions control whether forward or backward backward feature selection is used. In general, forward and backward selection do not yield equivalent results. So how do we select a direction? We have to select a direction that is efficient for the required number of selected features. So let's say we have 10 features and we want to select seven features out of these 10 features. So now if we apply, if we understand forward and backward selection and apply the strategy, the forward selection would need to perform seven iterations because it start with zero features and then go on adding features one by one. So there will be seven iterations that will be needed to add seven features. Whereas backward selection, which will start with 10 features, after first iteration, it will have nine features, then it will have eight features, and then it will have seven features. So it, will, it needs to perform only three iterations. So in this case, backward selection seems to be a reasonable choice. So we'll have to select forward or backward based on what is efficient, based on the required number of selected features. Sequential feature selection does not require the underlying model to expose a coefficient or feature importance attributes like recursive feature elimination and select from model. The sequential feature selection may be slower than recursive feature elimination and select from model at, as it needs to evaluate more models compared to the other two approaches. For example, in backward selection, the iteration going from M features to M minus one features using K4 cross validation would require us to fit 
M cross K models in sequential feature selection, while in recursive feature elimination, we would we would require only a single fit, and in select from model, we need to perform a single fit, and it requires no iterations. So sequential feature selection obviously needs uh, more more models to to evaluate in comparison to recursive feature elimination and select from model. So now we have a good idea about feature selection methods. We we looked at the we looked at the filter based feature selection and wrapper based feature selection and depending on your need you can use either feature based or wrapper based feature selection methods.